All right, you guys, we are live and welcome to the Access Accelerators Instagram page for our very first installment of our live series called The Entrepreneurial You. In this series, I, your host, Dianthea Ferguson, will be taking you inside the stores, inside the businesses of some of our clients, why they do what they do, telling you why they love to be an entrepreneur, and how just running a business in the Bahamas is making them happy and whole. So I am here today at Happy Hour CrossFit, a place that I am very familiar with. So this should be very fun. We're going to be meeting up with Jaime Thompson, the owner, to talk about running a gym in the Bahamas. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't been here in a minute, but you guys, this is the gym where I work out, and this is Jaime, the owner. Thank Hi, you so much for being on, on our show, thank The you, Entrepreneurial you. you. Awesome. So we are here at Happy Hour CrossFit. Yes, we I, are. I, I'm, I, I'm a little bit embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit embarrassed. It's been a while since I've worked out, you guys, but like I said, we're here at Happy Hour CrossFit with Jaime. We're going to chat a little bit about running a gym yeah. in the 242. Just, just, let's just start there. What is it like to run an entire gym? Well, uh, Ayanthea, first and foremost, for me, it's a, um, it's a dream come true. Honestly, this is something that I wanted to, I wanted to pursue um, um, from a couple of years ago. And um, I, I can honestly give all my thanks to the Access Accelerator as if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have been able to pursue this at such a young age. Um, it's definitely a handful, I'm not going to lie. Um, but. I can tell you with the right support, um, mm -hmm. the, um, the, the right people to have back you up, um, one being accelerate, uh, Access Accelerator, two being um, my family and yeah. friends, and then uh, most importantly here, um, I can definitely say is my members who are definitely a huge part of my family. Um, they've definitely played a huge part in ensuring that the gym stays on their feet, yeah. especially in these tough times. And let's just go right back there. You spoke a little bit about the importance of having organizations like the Access Accelerator being in programs like that help you. You're a young guy, I'm a young woman, you know, we are trying to, you know, get lives started here in the Bahamas. Talk to me about the impact, you know, just being a part of the program has had on your business. Sure, sure. Um, you know, as I said, um, I, the, this, the dream of having um, Happy Hour CrossFit started off when I was about 18 years old. Wow. Um, and you know, I was here, I first started CrossFit, and you know, it, 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 didn't take, it didn't take long for me to develop such a huge passion that I have today for it. Um, so I went back to college, um, went to the drawing board, and you know, I, I realized that I wasn't in the financial position to pr pursue something like this, um, as I, I did want to have something um, like a CrossFit gym when I was about 21, 22. Um, so I put that to the side and uh, continu continued with life, went, um, finished college, uh, went to start my master's, then COVID hit, yeah. and then I came back home. Um, and then I can say um, the blessing of God gave me, with, gave me the opportunity to pursue Happy Hour CrossFit. Um, right. And honestly, if it, wasn't, if it wasn't for the Access Accelerator, I wouldn't be here um, today. You know, they... Um, they held my hand th um, through, throughout what was a, um, a process that required a, a ton of patience. Yeah. Um, as it was, it was a long process, however, I, um, they, they allowed me to understand, they truly held, held my hand throughout the entire process, allowed me to stay patient, stay focused day in and day out. I mean, I tell you, I was, I was on calls with my advisor from as early as 6, 7.30 in the morning. Yeah. And you know, we'd, we'd be working straight up until about one, one the next day. Wow. Um, so it, it definitely took a lot, a, 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 a lot of time to get to this point. Um, but I'll definitely say Access Accelerator made my dream come true. Awesome. And um, it's, it's important for people who, who join Access Accelerator and start the process to truly understand that it's not something that um, that just gets put into yeah. your hands, put into your lap. You know, it's it's something that definitely requires a lot of hard work and dedication. As nothing is free, nothing comes easy. Um, but I'll definitely say it pays off in the end. All right, sure. and now we're here in this. 
beautiful gym. Yes, and, we are. Uh, what makes you want to go from doing pull-ups to running the gym? <laughs> Please just answer that question. Well, I'll, I'll say, um, and I, I had mentioned it briefly earlier, it's, it's, it's the element of surprise, honestly. I, um, I was into fitness a bit, a bit early, early on. I, I was a collegiate um, soccer athlete. Um, so fitness played a huge point, um, huge part of my life on a daily basis. Um, but you know, it, it, was, it, was, it was a bit of, um, I found myself in a bit of boredom um, doing the same thing every day, yeah. you know. And um, it wasn't until I came here and um, I started my CrossFit journey, coming in here every day and finding, finding it not being the same thing every day. Yeah. The element of surprise is definitely what kept me going in here and it's what grew my passion. Because I know that's my preference. <laughs> I love CrossFit because I love the structure. Like you say, the element of surprise while doing the same thing every day. And the open gym, I just cannot. So just do a tour and just show me around some spots in the gym. Sure, sure. So um, let's get started. Uh, first and foremost, where we are right now is currently the what we call is the box. This is where all of the magic happens. The so pain, he means the pain. The pain and the gains, <laughs> that's right, that's right. So this is where all our members go to work. This is where we, this is where goals are achieved. Um, and you know, I, like we said, this is CrossFit. This isn't an uh, open gym. Yeah. Open gym is where you, you're able to just come in, do whatever you want, um, no guidance, um, which is definitely the, the number one issue when it comes to people achieving their fitness goals. You know, everybody, you walk, into, you walk into a regular gym and, you know, you think walking on a treadmill for 45 minutes is going to cut it or, you know, just you think, you think you need to have, you need to segment the days by arms, legs, chest, you know. Um, but in here, we focus on challenging the entire body and um, we provide guidance. Um, everything is cl um, group class based, instructor led. And so that's what, allo um, that's what allows people to, you know, have a bit more of organization in their fitness um, in their fitness um, regimen. Um, as you know, you walk in here. You know, we have we have your programming for the day all set up, and um, everybody's in here eager to just get it knocked out. Trying to figure out, hold on, we doing burpees today, or are we running today? Because listen, I be in this thing. I'm like, okay, let me see which day I ain't going because <laughs> if no, no, it's too much running, I might not show up. <laughs> oh, but I love boy. the programming, and I know that you not only do um, the traditional workouts in here with barbells and dumbbells but you also have equipment back here that we can also look at right 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 so let's um let's go check it out a lot of equipment right means so, a lot of pain means so a lot of working out a lot of pain a lot of work <laughs> lots of sweating guys so in here this is also a part of the cross the crossfit facility um we have our ski our ski ergs which are considered a full body movement they're incorporated into the programming that we have here at happy hour crossfit and then behind you we have the assault bikes. Assault for a reason. Yes. <laughs> People call them something else, but I'm not going <laughs> to, we're not going to talk about that today. Yeah. So we just have these stored here. And so whenever, whenever we have them included into our work, our daily workouts, we bring them out and knock them out. And you spoke a little bit about, you know, your gym members being a part of the extended family. Yes. And I, I, that's what I like about being a part of CrossFit, the family atmosphere, yes. people cheering you on, even when you are the last one to come to the door. Yes. Right. So just talk to us a little bit about just building that extended family. Yeah. Yeah. So um, CrossFit in itself, and you'll, you know, you'll find it at any CrossFit gym throughout the world. It's a, it's a family. Um, you know, um, the community is built with people who are, who walk in the door every day with goals that they want to achieve, um, you know, and so because everybody's walking in with the same mindset, you know, it's not just about coming in and take a picture and walking out. Um, because everybody has the mindset to truly stay focused and um, determined to achieve these goals, you know, it's what puts everybody on the same level. And, um, you know, because of that and because everybody's kept that in mind, it, it, it's what incorporates a huge accountability component. And, um, you know, these are all of, the, these are all of the, the same characteristics, the same traits that you see um, in a family. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's exactly what we have here. You know, everybody comes in, you know, we're, we're pushing one another um, day in and day out. 
whether we're in the gym or we're in the WhatsApp group trying to make sure Ayanthi is in class today. Oh, <laughs> <Lord>. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, those are just the ways, those are just the, the, the times there where we, we ensure, you know, we're doing everything that we can to achieve those goals. And um, I know Ayanthi has, um, spoke briefly. We don't just have we don't just have a small family in here, but we have our second family, yes. our second home in the back here. We have our Beats Fitness Studio. I need to spend some more time back here. Not Boy. only is it beautiful. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. So what happens in the Beats section? So this is, you know, this is in the back. This is where, um, this is where a lot of people, you know, just, just as we, just as they do in the CrossFit gym, that's, this is where they zone out and, um, you know, we've got the lights flashing everywhere. We're making it a party, but we're also making it, making, um, ensuring everybody stays focused on what they want to achieve. Um, and so in here we offer our row fit classes, which is still essentially under CrossFit programming. Everything, everything's new. You're not just on the rower um, 20, um, every single day, but you're also stepping off. You're including a bit of body weight movements, mm -hmm. um, a, bit of, a bit of dumbbell exercises, so you get that weightlifting incorporated. Um, so we ensure everything's low impact, but still high intensity. So we have the row fit programming. And then if you take a look at these chains, these chains are here for a reason. Uh. If you take a look over here, we have some boxing bags. Yes, we have a kickboxing class as well um, that's offered here. And we, we here, this is where you focus on learning. Not, not, we're not, it's not just a fitness class. Mm -hmm. You're also learning some self-defense um, self yeah. techniques. Um, as you know, nowadays, it's, it's considered a necessity. Yeah. It can be considered <laughs> a necessity. Um, so we're ensuring that everybody's able to go on throughout their daily lives feeling, feeling um, safe and empowered. Um, to be able to, you know, carry on as they would um, while being able to achieve those fitness goals. One thing I love about this gym is that not only do you make sure we get a good workout in, but you kind of put it at peace, like even with the lights, the artwork. Just talk to me a little bit about why you decided to go the route of making the gym pretty, I guess, you know, yeah. rather than just being so functional. Yeah, honest, honestly, you know, I, 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 I give that thanks and... Um, I, I give it all thanks and praise to um, my, my mentors, Mario um, and Karen Jordan yeah. and, and Karen Eldon. Um, you know, they were the former owners. They're the people who, who grew the passion inside of me, made me truly, um, made me become the person who I am today in the CrossFit community. Um, and honestly, it was his, it was his vision to um, give it a bit of a New York theme. He went to New York for, for a weekend. And he went in a he went into a actual a kickboxing gym, and um, it's something quite similar, um, but more on a smaller scale. Mm -hmm. But you know, um, being in that gym truly inspired him to bring it over here. And um, honestly, I'd say it's the best decision he's ever done. He's yes. ever made. Shout outs to Mario and Karen because yes. I did work out with them as well when they were right, the right. previous owners. So. We're talking about the entrepreneurial you. What advice or tip you would have for somebody who want to start a business today, whether it's a gym, a hair salon, a nail salon? So I'll definitely, definitely say when it comes to um, starting a business, it's, you know, it's all about putting pen to paper first and foremost. You, know, you have to ensure that you're, you, you, you're seeing, you, you have on paper, you, you're visualizing what it takes to make your dream a reality, get that business up and running. Um, and then also, it's, it's about, it's about seek, um, nowadays, especially for the younger um, aspiring entrepreneurs, it's okay to seek for help, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and that's what the Access Accelerator is there for. Um, they, 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 like I said, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here um, where I am today um, with Happy Hour CrossFit. And so um, it's, they've, they've definitely played a huge part in making my business a reality and many others, many others within the in the program, um, yeah. So it's it's also it's it's all about um, ensuring that you have the right support system, whether it's the Access Accelerator or if you have somebody that's willing to help you make your dreams come true. Um, but then it's also about ensuring that you understand the business. So it's not also it's not about getting it up and off the ground, but it's also ensuring you understand what you have to do to keep it on its feet. You know, um, so keeping things exciting, coming up with different promos, offering new services. You know, it's it's um, 
you know, when, if, it's, if it's something that's true, that you're truly passionate about, you shouldn't have, you honestly shouldn't have a problem with, with that light bulb blinking every single day, you know. Um, you got to keep your mind running, you got to keep your mind running, keep those ideas rolling, whatever comes to mind, take the pen to paper, and it's what's going to keep things growing. Awesome. I love that. All right, you guys, this is the entrepreneurial you. You just got some business tips, but now I think I'm going to do a little quick workout. <laughs> yes, you are. You I haven't been here in a Listen, while. It's been a minute. It's been a long time. I know this is going to hurt, but I'm down for it. <laughs> Let's go. This is your first day back. I know. You gotta be back tomorrow. <laughs> Listen, they said this is supposed to be a demonstration, like yeah. a demonstration a workout, but I feel like Jaime went all the way in. <laughs> no. <laughs> no? No, we always all right. go all So we are at Happy Hour CrossFit, you guys, and we're gonna do a quick workout. Jaime, what you got planned for me? So, Ayanthea, I hope I've gotten this right. I see jump rope, so I'm already happy. <laughs> I, I see a jump rope, so that makes me feel good. So yeah, you guys, I, I, this is my gym. I, 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 I'm, I used to be in here a lot. <laughs> now I feel like Jaime's going to make me sign back up and sign into the class next week. <laughs> yes, I am. All Classes. right. So workout today, you're, um, you're, you're, you're um, pretty familiar with the programming. It's a seven-minute AMRAP. So seven minutes, as many rounds and reps as possible. We have 30 singles, so okay. 30 reps of regular, regular jump rope. Okay. We start. We no, start now. Like, oh, okay. Get excited! <laughs> I gotta set the clock. Then we have eight burpees. Okay. So for burpees, we're taking our hands to the floor, going all the way down, back up. Small little jump, okay? All right. And then we'll finish off with eight sit-ups. Okay. Okay, so 30 jump rope, eight burpees, eight sit-ups. All right. So that's my workout for today. Yes, it as is. many rounds as possible. So even if I stop at two rounds, we good? <laughs> we work till the clock runs out, oh, Ayanthea. Oh, boy. Work till the clock runs out. All right, so let's see how we do CrossFit, the happy hour CrossFit way. Ready? Yep, ready. 10 seconds. So you're working out with me, right? Cause <laughs> yes, I am. Don't worry. Get ready in three, two, one. All right, let's go. Thirty. All right. And then we have burpees, the hey, worst burpees. exercise in the world. There we go. Ready out of breath. Right. <laughs> Let me Eight get to up. up. Woo! And we're we'll back to the again. top. All right. I hate these. <laughs> Come on, I got the oak. You haven't been here in a while, so... No, God! <laughs> that sounds like bad news. And so we are getting a full body workout without so barely getting it equipment. Hold 
God. Four and a half. Watching the clock. It's crucial when you're in here. <laughs> Oh shit, they can't run. <laughs> this is the part where I usually skip out and go to the bathroom for like the rest of the 10 minutes. <laughs> no! Back down, back down. Hey. Hey, Auntie, I'm watching you. you. Three times. <laughs> the worst part is a little bit of count of your abs. <laughs> this is why I usually write them down. <laughs> Did you, like, rig this clock? This clock no. gotta be rigged. We're almost there, almost there. Minutes yet? Two left in two minutes. Two minutes. Last minute. Woo. Ten seconds. Woo! Last ten. Three, two, Woo! one. Oh my goodness. That was the worst way to come back to the gym. That way was the worst. Nice. The worst way to come back to the gym behind me again. The programming is awesome. Thank you. And like I told you, I love the fact that my coaches actually work out with me. They don't just leave you stranded on the floor. So um, with you till the end, I ask you. <laughs> yes, with us till the end. It burns and hurts, but they're there with us. So, Jaime, thank you so much.
thank you so much for having us in here. Congratulations on everything. Let us know where you're at, how people can sign up, how they can find you, how they become a part of your CrossFit family. Sure, so if you're interested in joining us today, you can go ahead and reach out to us at 242-445-7297. Shoot us a WhatsApp or give us a call. And otherwise, if you'd like, you can go ahead and visit our website at happyhourcrossfit.com. Click on one of the toolbars and schedule a consultation and we'll do everything we can to help you live a fitter, healthier, and happier life. We're located at 671 East Bay Street if you want to come by and visit. And if you don't know where that is, it's on East Bay Street past Rawson Square. We're in the same building as the Rubis gas station. Before you get to the first bridge to go over to Paradise Island, you'll see our sign on the side of the road. Turn in, check us out, and we'll get you started. And honestly, it's a really great workout. I think I need to renew my membership. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching the Entrepreneurial You. Be sure to keep watching this page to find out when more episodes will be airing live. Thank you guys. I need some water now. <laughs>